All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Token Talk. It's been a little while, it's been a couple of months, but uh, I saw a cool token today on eBay, so I uh, figured I'd make a little uh, video here. So, uh, I just, this token grabbed my attention when I saw it. I like this, the central figure. It's a guy, looks like he's wearing like an old top hat, old clothes. He's holding a club, which is cool to me. And some flowers, and there's a nice wreath design around the outside. Um, it's got a real 1800s vibe to it that I, uh, I think is, is real visually appealing. I like the color. It's a nice chocolate brown color. Um, yeah, just overall I like the way this looks. It's pretty simple. It's inscription on the back. Pure copper, preferable. It's paper. Pretty cool. So, here's some notes that were from the seller says reference Breton 1009 mint year 1820s not dated it's a half penny token it's got some scratches it's made out of copper which is pretty cool you know it says copper preferable to paper and it's actually made out of copper which is pretty interesting to me because I don't know, I mean, a lot of the tokens that I see are, I don't know, it seems like I see a lot of brass stuff, and but I mean, it makes sense that it's copper, it's got, it looks like copper, you know, it looks like antique copper, which I like. Seller's notes on the obverse. Standing Irishman holding a club and flowers, all within wreath. Reverse, it just says the inscription. Pretty cool though. I can't remember ever seeing this before, and if I have seen it, I did, it didn't. It didn't grab my attention like it did today. You know, I mean, I look, I look at the tokens periodically, and I haven't really been seeing much over the last couple months. You know. And uh, my my interest in this hobby ebbs and flows over time. So if I'm not seeing anything cool, I'm not going to make any videos. Obviously, you know. So, but this token just it it fits. It fits the time of year. It's it's oddly spring-like. You can just imagine some like old 1800s. Irishman with like a club <laughs> and some flowers back in like the 1800s. That's what it reminds me of, you know, in the springtime or something. All right. Now let's get some information here from Numista. So the entry on Numista is half penny, pure copper, preferable to paper. That's the title on Numista. Obverse, Irishman holding a shamrock and stick within a wreath. I think that looks more like a club than a stick, but... And then it just says what the inscription is. This does have a reeded edge, which is pretty cool. There's some comments here. It says it's designed and engraved by Thomas Halliday. Token originally circulated in Ireland before making its way to British North America, where it circulated in the States as well as Lower Canada. Struck on thick or thin flans, resulting in weight variations. So, yeah, this is a Canadian provinces. But, uh, like that note said, it was. 
circulating in Ireland, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if these were actually made in Ireland. You know, the subject matter is an Irishman. You know, kind of goes, kind of goes with spring. You know, St. Patty's Day wasn't all that long ago, a few weeks ago, right? So yeah, it doesn't say if they were actually minted in Ireland, but I mean, if they were originally circulating in Ireland before making its way to British North America and Lower Canada, then I'm, I'm guessing they were probably made in Ireland. Which is cool, because I don't really run across a ton of Irish tokens. Alright, getting back to the features here. Years, 1820 to 1830. Value, half penny. Currency, Canada pre-confederation commercial tokens. Composition, copper. Weight, 6.7 grams. Diameter, 27.7 millimeters. The seller said it was 28, so it's somewhere right in there. Metal alignment, references, Breton 1009, that's probably a reference guide. So yeah, pretty pretty cool little token, 28 millimeters, so that's a little bit smaller than a half dollar size. But uh, yeah, there's definitely more, more pictures of this and stuff on, uh, you know, Google Images or whatever search engine you're using, but just go back to the image here and take a look at it. I do like I do like the uh, the overall presentation of this. You know, I just it's just got that 1800s vibe. You know, just a guy wearing like a an old coat, like a top hat, <laughs> holding a club and some flowers. I like the wreath design. I like the copper color. You know, just use your imagination a little bit. It just reminds you of those times. And it's a product of those times, too. So it just it makes sense, you know. And, uh, yeah, pure copper, preferable to paper. Nice, simple message. I like the, the font that's used there. It's just a nice, basic... But it looks old, you know. It looks like 1800s font. It's just cool looking and I like those little I think there's a name for that little design that's going around the edge there near the rim it's kind of like a little beaded design that I kind of like that you can see some dings you know around the, the edge there on the right and some scratches and stuff but overall I mean this is this example here is I like the way this looks you know I like the coloration and everything but uh, yeah, I thought this was fitting, you know, for this time of year. It, it it got my attention, so figured, you know, make a video. I know it's been a while, but uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Take care.